husband James and I are owners of Eastside Scooters. We're trying to help the environment one scooter at a time. This is our shop, our shared passion. That and of course our two beautiful boys, Sam and James Patrick. But outside of that, we don't have a whole lot in common. Uh, we have a very different outlook on how to run the shop. He wants to do certain things and have a certain attitude and I have a very different attitude and a different angle. Josephine and I probably don't agree on two topics under the sun. A gruff but lovable James. He has a lot of sales experience, but he has no people skills. And so... <laughs> Some people say they just can't get along with him. <laughs> That's where I come in. Um, <laughs> it's... It's definitely a balance between the two of us. <laughs> Josephine, great person, awesome. Uh, actually, a wonderful person to work for, very positive. She can get kind of bossy at times, but no more than anybody else, so. You ever see the movie Tank Girl with uh, Lori Petty? If you took her character and cranked it back a half a notch, that's Josephine to a T. Willing to get her hands dirty. Rare for a boss like that. I could see why people like buying scooters from her because she's not pushy, which is also nice. I like that. The people who come and hang out and stay and stuff are, are men. Typically, they're all men. Guys, 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 nonstop come in here. She flashed me once. I think they have fun. We're all friends with her and she's friendly with everybody and uh, probably one of the biggest flirts I've ever met in my life. Uh, she is like a, a punk rock child. She's got that, that ethos, you know, she's, she's punk rock to the core. Josephine's style is uh, unpredictable. Very good, very nice style. It's uh, one of a kind. I never know what color her hair is going to be. Don't know what she's going to be wearing. It might be stiletto heels, it might be mucklucks. Just never can tell about her. Being in a scooter shop, you don't expect people to walk in dressed like a, you know, fashion show. So it's it's interesting. Business at the shop right now has been slow. The economy's been bad, and I think business pretty well across the board sucked. Well, it's not like it was last year. Everything's been slow everywhere, it seems like. So if people stay as tight-fisted this year as they did last year, uh, we're not going to make it. It's hard work, but we love it. We're dedicated to making it work, and so we're doing everything in our power to draw attention to us. I think it's going to come back. Well, my husband and I are trying to make ends meet. He works, we not only own the business, he works another job. Right now, we really need the money he makes with Moo TV. He does live video production and is always on the road. Oh, no. What? Bonnaroo. Do you have to do Bonnaroo? Yes. Ah. I will be playing the Gibson Amphitheater in Los Angeles, California, the Joint in Las Vegas, Santa Barbara, the 17th. It's okay, though. We're, I'm used to it I, ever since I've known him. He's traveled, so I'm just, it's, it's weird when he's home for a long time. In addition to trying to run the shop without James around, I'm also a single mother for weeks at a time. But no matter how tired or stressed out I get, I do what I can to be a good mother. I think I'm a fun mother. I do a lot of donations and charities and stuff like that. I, I never mind giving money to that. However, I'm very careful about how I spend advertising money. Anytime you do advertising, you run the risk of wasting your money. I mean, you can go broke. You can go out of business spending your advertising dollars in the wrong places. Print advertising, as a general rule, hasn't been that good to us so far. We're working on doing a shoot for the scooter shop. We did do a photo shoot. Uh, I think the pictures turned out extremely well. They're, they're very beautiful shots, very artful shots, very classy shots. It's with two models, a uh, guy and a girl, and they're going to be topless. We do have concern 
that the magazine we're going to be working with may or may not be willing to print these pictures. And they're going to be topless. They are what they were intended to be. They're very risque. Topless. We're not in the Bible Belt. We're in the buckle of the Bible Belt. So uh, it's going to make it a special challenge. We are uh, hopefully going to do our level best to have a good marketing program coming out this spring and try and get ourselves back on top of things this summer.